Okay, so what about this second method now? The second method's easier, but it's not quite as um, accurate. But anyway, let's give the second one a go. To start with, we're not going to need some of these things. We won't need sample sum, and we will not need value. We won't need mean. We won't need sample sum. Uh, anything else we don't need over here? No, we don't need sample sum. Right, so what do we need? So we're going to need sample max to start with. So let's get rid of that. Sample max. Sample max equals zero. And then over here, if it's time to take a sample, then. Um, right, we're going to need to put an if in here. So let's copy that. Int. Whoops this sample, let's call it, equals that. So this current sample equals the sample takeaway 512. Then we want to say if this sample is greater than max sample, then do something. So if this sample is greater than the max sample, then do something. Have we got a val uh, sample max I've got around here, down here? So if this sample is greater than sample max, then we want to say sample max equals this sample. The reason why we're doing this is because in this methodology, um, in this 0 0.707 methodology, all we want to do is find the absolute peak value in the whole of the sample range. So for every sample, if this sample is greater than the maximum value we've got, then save this value into there. Otherwise, don't bother. And then this bit here is going to be the same sample count and last sample. So we'll delete that. We don't need that anymore. OK, so at this point, we've got to a thousand samples and we've got the maximum value. So what do we need to do now? Um, well, we still need the well in fact let's comment that out to start with um, we still need to work out the millivolts so value multiplied by voltage per count that's now not value it's going to be that sample max so millivolts equals the maximum sample multiplied by the voltage per count and that will give us the uh, millivolt the maximum amount of millivolts which has been received by the Arduino so that should work fine we'll need to test that out so um, let's test it out with this so the final that needs to be the max so the max millivolts sample the max millivolt sample is whatever millivolts is so let's upload that and see what happens. And it's done uploading, so Control Shift M. The max millivolt sample is 297, 300, whatever. Uh, so, okay, it seems to be working. The next thing we want to do is find out the amperage um, from that. But this is where it gets a little bit complicated. It's still not complicated, it's just a little bit complicated. Um, the amperage we've got equals the amount of millivolts divided by 66. But if you remember rightly, that won't give us the actual amperage. That will give us the uh, peak. It's not really an average. It'll give us the peak amount, which is not really what we want. We want an average. So uh, what we need to do is use this uh, second methodology which is this 0 0.707 so if we get the peak millivolts uh, so we'll change this here to peak millivolts because that's what it is it's the peak change that there and now we want the uh, average really so float uh, what do we call this the well it's really that but I don't really want to call it that so we'll say average um, will be the peak peak millivolts multiplied by 
zero point seven zero seven. Control T, Control S, and this is the second way of doing this thing. So there's the peak millivolts, and there's the averaged out millivolts. We've multiplied it by zero point seven zero seven, and this will equate to the RMS voltage. It will equate to it, equivalent. So um, we've got the average and then divide the average amount of millivolts by 66 to give us the amperage and then we won't need this anymore so comment that out and now comment this line uh, back in if you like the final amperage um, the final 0 0.707 amperage is whatever the amperage is the approximate wattage is the amperage multiplied by 250 so now if I do uh, we also need to reset this thing here, so where is it? Sample max Sample max equals zero So I'll upload this now and it should work now Let's see what we get So control shift M Okay, so the 0 0.707 way, which is not the RMS way, it's a second methodology, it says the amperage is 3.19. Now, I can't remember what it was doing it the RMS way, but this should be about the same, and it's easier, really, if you think about it. So it says the approx wattage is about 800 watts, which is about right. And now I'm going to turn the radiator up to the second setting, and we'll see what it was. If I remember rightly, it was at 1,300 or something like that. Let's turn it on and see. So there's the second um, setting, 1300, so that looks about right, and the third setting was 8 amps, and I think it was 2100 watts, or this, that's what this came up with, something like that. So let's turn it up now even more, and we'll see. And there's the third setting. So... Uh, what have we got here? The amperage is 8.26 amps and the approximate wattage is 2066 watts and that sounds about right to me. So the RMS and the 0 0.707 um, compared in one video and um, that seems fairly accurate. So to all of those who have been asking me about how we can measure AC current using the ACS712 this is how to do it and these are the two methods and this is how you'll program them so um, thanks for watching and if you do decide to carry this out be very very careful because you can kill yourself so once again thanks for watching bye